so our friends will come to my channel and then go to the dark so today i'm going to explain you what that is the film standard business study planning for uh, business study for chapter planning so what are the main points in the definition of planning is it is a physiological process of thinking and dedicating in advance about what is to be done and how will to be done so the following are the main points of definition of the planning they are the setting objectives planning must pertain to a particular objective it should be a setting object you should plan what to do and that is there must be a definite objective for the as for achievement of the which planning to be done and time period so the plan must be formulated for a definite time period for this time and formulating alternatives for course of action so once uh, the objective is decided the next task is to decide how it is it is to be achieved how to complete that plan and designing a course of action from a various available alternatives the best one must uh, we should decide from uh, which one is the best uh, if we do it we will do, do, do the work very much fastly immediately next how does planning provide direction planning states in advance what is to be done it defines the goals and objectives to be achieved and the goals and course of action is to be followed for achieving them next why is the organizations are not allowed able to accomplish all their objectives so follow so let us know about the limitations of planning which may result in the aban- abandoning of the organizational objective so rigidness so planning is a rigid in nature so once a plan regarding the objectives to be achieved and the course of action to be followed is formulated the manager may not be able to change it once it is done and course deal with the dynamic environment so business environment is a dynamic and thereby very uncertain however planning cannot foresee such charges and fail falls fails at time of changes and gigantic cost so formulating of plans involves huge cost in terms of time and money there may be and false security so good, good planning does not mean a guarantee to success often the manager tend to rely on protestant plans that have worked well in the past means time consuming so formulating plans is a very time consuming task as it involves looking forward in the unforeseen situation and it involves a lot of research and evolution next what is the main features to be considered by the management while planning so planning states in advance where where to go and in which uh, watch direction and what to do focus on objectives so planning serves the basis for guidelines for which what goals are to be achieved and how to be are to be achieved next uh, stepping stones so planning serves as the stepping stones for all other functions of organization that organizing directing staffing and controlling lots of prevalent next is the Preventiveness. So planning must be done at all levels of organization and continuity. So planning should be done continuously. Process of making choices amongst the different alternatives for the attainment of desired objectives and futuristic. So planning must be futuristic in nature. We should see, uh, think about future also. what may happen if i go with this plan and do you think the planning can work in changing environment so no planning cannot work in ch- changing of the environment business environment is dynamic in nature and it may be changes continuously there may be political conditions social conditions and other condition while doing planning and planning cannot foresee such changes and may prove false it may become wrong sometimes next what are the steps taken by the management in the planning process so step the so let us know so the first step is they do setting objectives developing premises identify alternatives evaluating alternatives selecting the uh, selecting from alternatives implementation follow up action so first uh, let us know one by one so first we have learnt is setting objectives so setting up the objectives so the first step in the pro- planning process is of setting up the objectives and goals what we have to do what is our aim 
what we need it for we have to do and developing the premises so planning is based on certain assumption regarding the future so regarding so regarding to our future we should have plan so what may to work we are doing and what uh, if we do in the future if there may be some problems and identification of the alternative so once the objectives and assumptions are developed a need arises to identify the different courses of action that can be followed the different types how we can fulfill that work or how can we do the work and evaluation of the alternatives so after identifying the different parts of action the managers need to evaluate them they she should uh, research it whether this work work uh, it will work or not and next is selection of the best so selecting the best alternative involves opting for the method that is most viable as per the objective selecting the best uh, method in that is the most important and implementation so after planning and after selecting the best method you have to implement it you have to start the work and follow up the action so after the implementation after starting that work you have to follow up on uh, you have to continue that work next if planning involves working out uh, details for the future why does it not ensure success so it is true that planning is forward looking function and it is based on analy- analyzing and pre- next is planning actually worth to huge cost involved ex- so planning in was huge cost in the terms of time and money uh, money so rendering direction so planning clearly states the goals and objectives that we have to do what are the goals and subdued risk so by guiding an organization in the right direction it accredits its manager to analyze and anticipate the changes what you have to do the goals or risk what may be and minimizing overlapping so as a manager as well comprehended comprehended with the policies and plans of the organization they coordinate the activities together to reach the uh, work they have to do and encourage creativity so planning services as the stepping stone of an organization success so they should give an encourage for the creativity and they should be helping in making of decision which is the best which is the correct decision making and essential for control so controlling so planning states the objectives that are to be achieved thus it sets the standard against which the performance is evaluated the standard uh, against which the performance is made so why are rules considered to be a plan so rules refers to the standards or specific statements that inform about what is to be done rules are considered to be plans because both are very similar in nature rules are considered to be simplest form of the plan as we can say next what kind of strategic decision are taken by business organization so deciding about which line of business should be taken whether the line of production should be adopted or not which position what position of uh, is the company aim of the in the market in the market in which position they are and what kind of pricing policy should be used i mean what should be their policy have to pay these all the strategies ideas plans they should make so okay friends this was your chapter that will uh, planning soul like the video comment on the video and subscribe my channel and go to the center for more video i will see my next video explaining another chapter till then take care have a nice day bye my dear friends